Today I'm going to teach you how to transform this photo, which is a bit uh, dark and cloudy, into a much sunnier and much nicer image, which is this one. So this is before, this is after. I am Mr. 23, let's begin. So this is our original photo, as you can see, uh, it's a bit cloudy and uh, a bit darker. And in order to make it uh, brighter and sunny, first thing, we need to change the sky. As you can see, our sky is white. I have another photo. I'm going to take this sky and bring it to my uh, cloudy photo. I'm going to um, use the blending mode uh, multiply, which is uh, perfect for our purpose. Just drag it where the sun hides between the trees. Now, hide this bottom part of the sun photo and um, we are going to use a mask and usually when you press the mask as you can see the mask is set to white color but we need it to be inverted so we hold alt and press on the same mask and as you can see now it's black now I'm going to bring back only the parts that I want so I'm taking the white color use the brush tool set the flow to 100% and just paint on the top don't go too further we need this part here to uh, be uh, in a gradient, so we are going to shrink the flow, let's say something to 4 or 5%, something really small, and use the same to paint. As you can see, it adds a gradient and hides that white part really well. After you are satisfied with your result, um, if you are not, just hide with the black color. Alright, now the next step is to add some color on top of everything. In order to do that, we need a new layer, layer new, and you need to do this by selecting the layer from here, from the top, uh, because you need some adjustments. So here, let's call this one light, lights, and set the blending mode to color dodge and fill it with black. Now, as you can see, nothing happens, but it will happen really soon. Take a, um, a lighter orange color, something like that, and increase the brush size and paint. If you think it's too much, just take the black color and paint on the parts that you think they are too bright. Alright, now uh, go back, take again the orange color and now shrink the brush size and open more the parts that you think the sun should make them brighter. I think the flowers should be brighter uh, and some parts of the hill here. We need to add some shadows. We are going to do the same thing. Click on the layer new, again new layer. And now we are going to call this one shadows and mode should be now set to soft lay and fill it with 50% gray and now take the black color using the brush and now darken some parts of the image to have some shadows also not only uh, highlight. Alright, as you can see this is what the shadows are doing to my image. Now we need a sun, actually sun rays and I'm going to teach you how to draw sun rays. We are going to make a new document, file new and we are doing a square one and fill it with black just uh, you can press ctrl or command i and it uh, inverts the colors now make a new layer click here and press around five times on the screen then take this rectangle tool make a rectangle really thin something like that and as you can see, it's filled with white. Now, hold shift, click on every layer to select them. And now we are going to arrange those layers to be in the middle. So press on the move tool. And now let's arrange them horizontally and vertically. Just press on those icons. Add a mask to this rectangle. Take again the brush tool and make the size a bit bigger and just go on the sides and hide this side of the rectangle. 
All right. Now let's duplicate this layer. Press Ctrl and T for the transform tool. Hold Shift to keep uh, the middle point in the middle. Press Enter. Now let's repeat the step again. Only this time, hold Shift and select both um, rays and drag them here. And now we have four. Hold Ctrl and T again and rotate, holding Shift. All right. And you place them in a 45 degree angle. Now um, we want all those four rays to duplicate them again. So hold shift and we are going to group them now to have them in a group. And we are going to duplicate the group. Just drag it here. Now control T again on the group, shrink it all the way about 50% of the original ones. Hold enter. And now control T again and rotate those rays. I think they are too small, so press Ctrl T again and drag holding Alt all the way here. Now let's rename this to Sun. Let's duplicate this layer, the Sun layer, and make Ctrl T again and make it bigger. Something like that. Now I think it's too much, the opacity is too uh, big, and we are going to make this little opaque something like that. Now hold shift and group everything like that and now right click and convert it to a smart object. So this is our sun. Let's drag it into our document here. As you can see this is our sun. Currently it's white and we need it to be a bit yellowish or another color that matches our um, sky. So we are going to add an adjustment hue and saturation layer from here. Place it inside by holding Alt and click between the layers and click on colorized. Drag the saturation all the way to the right and decrease a bit the, the lightness so you can see which color you want. I think something like that. And then you can play a bit with uh, the light. I think it's okay. All right. Now we are going to add some more color to uh, our image. Just do the same thing, layer, new layer. And this time we are going to use the screen. Fill it with black also. Uh, sun rays colors. And now take uh, another orange color, this time something like that. And take the brush tool. Set the flow again to a really small one, around 3-4%. All right, so let's make the brush bigger and just paint around the sun. Let's see, so we are going to hold shift and click on all the layers. Let's group them. All right, I need to hide these white parts and I need a, a white color. Let's zoom in by holding Alt and the mouse wheel and just paint here around the trees to hide those white parts. Let's zoom out. So in today's tutorial, we learned how to transform this original photo, which is a bit cloudy, into this sunny and more brighter image. This was the tutorial from today. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.